Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advance paper 2 physics in the year 2019. This was a passage based question and uh, there were two questions which were connected by the same passage. So the first question has been done in the earlier video. So in this video we will be talking about the second question. So we have already seen that uh, this represented the uh, first law of thermodynamics itself. So I will be just solving the question in this video. Uh, to understand how this represent first law of thermodynamics, you can watch for the uh, video for the question number 17. So let's go directly to the graph. In this question, the graph has been given as a PV graph whose value is P0 over here and 3P0 by 2. So for the first part, we have to find the work done by the system in 1, 2, 3. So let's see work done. Well, let's quickly calculate the work done. We, for the PV graph, the area represents the work done. So work done in 1, 2, 3 will be, in 2, 3 itself will be 0 because it's an isochoric process. So this area we can say P0 into V0. Okay. Since we have to find the answer in terms of uh, T R and T0. So this P0, V0 is nothing but 1 by 3 R T0. So this will become R T0 by 3. Okay. So this matches with Q. So 1 matches with Q. Right. Second, we have to find change in the internal energy in 1, 2, 3. So, 1, 2, 3 main internal energy ka change. Okay. So, that we can simply say NCV delta T. So, here the temperature was T0 by 3. Because you can see when pressure is P0, volume is V0, temperature will be T0 by 3. Because moles is 1. Okay. This is not moles. Moles is 1. So, this 3 actually will be below the temperature. Remember. Okay. N R T0. So, N is 1. R is R, so T will be T0 by 3, okay. And here the pressure has become 3 by 2 times, volume has become uh, twice. So we can say that 3P0 by 2. So basically we can straight away say that pressure has become 1.5 times, volume has become 2 times. So that means overall temperature would have become thrice. So here temperature has become T0. Can we say that? Yeah. So now we can say that delta U will be nothing but ncv delta t n is 1 cv is 3r by 2 delta t is t0 minus t0 by 3 so that is 2t0 by 3 so this becomes r t0 right so we can say that for the process 2 answer will be r so this will be r okay uh, for the option 2 for the third option uh, heat absorbed by the system will be 1 2 3 in the process uh, 1 2 3 so heat absorbed means we have to find q12 and q23 now q12 is fairly simple we can say uh, n c p delta t okay and q23 will be n c v delta t right n is 1 cp will be 5r by 2 and delta t what will delta t here you can see the pressure remains constant, volume becomes twice. Hence, temperature would have become twice. 2T0 by 3 temperature would have become. Okay. So, we can say that delta T is T0 by 3. And here, N is 1. Cv is 3R by 2. And delta T from here to here is T0 by 3. So, if you add these two quantities, what are we getting? T0 by 3 will be common. 5R plus 3R will be 8R by 2, 4R. 4R T0 by 3. So, this total will become... 4 RT0 by 3. Okay. So basically we can say that third matches with S. Right. Heat absorbed by the process in one system in 1, 2, which we have already found is uh, how much? 5 RT0 by 6. So that means U. So fourth matches with U. So Q R S U. Q R S U. Option D is the correct answer. So I hope you would have understood a fairly simple question. That's all. Thank you.